children and CSOs clash in Abuja over Shore and others. Several civil society organizations, CSOs, on Monday clashed in Abuja over calls for the enforcement of the human rights of Omo Yele Shore, the convener of revolution now movement, and other citizens unlawfully detained by the Department of State Services, DSS. The state of confusion created in the streets during the clash left several people injured and hospitalized. At 9 a.m., activists from Amnesty International, Social Economic Rights and Accountability Program, CERAP, and other groups stormed the premises of the National Human Rights Commission, NHRC, for a freedom rally to impress on the commission to call for an end to the reign of impunity in the country. But minutes into the mass action, civil groups who believed the actions of the DSS were acting in the best interest of the nation also arrived arrived the scene for a solidarity rally in support of the federal government and the security agencies. In the ensuing civil commotion, violence broke out and several activists were injured. Journalists covering the rally were harassed and their cameras and mobile phones were forcefully hijacked by hoodlums who infiltrated the mass action. So, guys, I, honestly, there is nothing anybody can even say in this country again that, you know, with what we are experiencing, it has really gone beyond what somebody can say. Oh, we are in a democratic setting. It's playing out. And the funny thing is that the government is not ready to even to uh, back down. They are not even ready to do to amend uh, their ways. Even before now, they are trying to exonerate themselves that they don't know anything about it. That it's not in all cases that they give a direct uh, directive to the DSS or SSS to ask that the out of their own on their own volition they come out and do and act according to the law. And meanwhile, of course, this group they said they are going to be coming out today, and I'm sure maybe uh, the people who are supporting the government they must have heard about it too, and they are coming out to to disrupt their mass protests. Of course, when these people, all these uh, civil society, once they are ready, when they are going out, when they are going on their uh, uh, protests, it's always peaceful. It's always peaceful. peaceful. And it is the responsibility of the security agents to, to protect them, just to be there. The highest thing they will do is just for them to be there and just let, you know, make their complaints, uh, complaints known. They make their, their whatever, their grievances, you know, they just made them know, and journalists will be there, covering them. I see no reason why these guys are just agitating, and every day by day, they are implicating themselves. They are co complicating issues. I uh, was it not uh, some some uh, days ago, or just yesterday or today? Femi Adesino was saying, "Who made the uh, U.S. government? Who made them judge? Who made them policeman?" Policemen of the world who make them police that they are going to be monitoring what is happening in Nigeria. You can imagine at that level, see what they are speaking. At that level, the level of impunity that is going on in this country, they don't see it as anything. What is really wrong with our people? What is really wrong with us? Well, somebody will always ask, somebody is always asking that, what is the problem? Why is it that we are so different? Is it that the food that we, 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 we eat or is the water that we drink that is causing us to, you know, we just... We, we act differently from other people. And we, it's not if we don't know the right thing. Well, some people, once they are just in charge of anything, they are all and all. They don't care about anybody. And it, I see it's not as if uh, these people are just younger, uh, young, uh, uh, young people. They are in their 50s, 60s. These people are the hem of affairs. They will tell you, oh, the, the children or the youth, they don't have experience. But now with their age, they have a, a, a you know, they are, they, are, they, they, they are over 60, 70. And yet, they still behave like this. And so what kind of legacy are they leaving for the younger ones? What kind of examples are they leaving for the youth? And they will say, uh, youth are the leaders of tomorrow. And people will be saying, they have been hearing that from time immemorial. And up to now, the leaders are still there. They have not even given the, the younger ones opportunity. So you want to tell me that those ones who came to disrupt the peaceful protest by this uh, civil civil groups, civil society. So they are happy, they are okay with the the serial disobedience to court order. Is that what they are telling us? Serial disobedience to court order. That is why they are, they, they are, they are trying to shut uh, social media. Like I always say, if you do the right thing, before you know it will escalate and it is to your own uh, advantage. 
And with what is happening now, it will still go, it will still go out. Everybody will see here about what is happening. Why is it that up to now that this man, you know, has been arrested, they've not been able to even charge him. They are just keeping him. And I read some articles saying that, I'm still going to do that video, saying that uh, the, the possibility of Omo Yele Shuore, you know, being in detention throughout Buhari's uh, regime has been revealed. They, are, they just want to keep him there. And I don't know why they cannot just pause for some time. And I, uh, uh, to just say, what is even happening? Just to pause, those of them that are supporting this government, just to be truthful for once. Of, of course, few of them have been coming out to say, no, you know, in this, uh, in this regard, I disagree with uh, the, the administration for the fact that they are fans of, those, uh, of this administration. Some of them are still coming out, few of them. But majority will not just sit down that, okay, in the real sense, if I thought that you have anything against this man, why can't you charge him to cause? Why are you running? Why is it that they just came to rearrest him again? And up to now, they've not been able to tell court the reason why this man is still in their detention. They are playing games. The last time we heard from uh, the AGFO that he was taking over the case from uh, DSS. And the lawyer, Femi Falano, said, you have to release this guy. You have no business of saying you want to take over the case because in the first place, you started the case in the first place. So all you just need to do is to release him. And they told Falano that, no, you can't re they can't release that. He does not have the power to release the man, that they should go and meet DSS. They got to the DSS. DSS said, go back to the AGF, the Malami. So they are tossing themselves. So now, are they not embarrassing themselves the more? Just recently, Nigerian has been you know, added to the, list of the, the watch list of the U.S. Now they are coming out. Say no, it is not like that. A uh, uh, U.S. is being misled that because of a uh, disgruntled uh, element who could not win election, those are the people the U.S. government is listening to. And now Femi Adichino is saying, "Oh, who made them the judge? Who made them police that will be monitoring what is happening in Nigeria? Like seriously for real? So people cannot go out to protest. See now, journalists, you know, were injured. Some people are hospitalized as we speak now." So what can we? What do we call this kind of a thing? What do we call this kind of a thing? That these people, why are they so, uh, why are they so intoxicated with power, to this extent? And with all this, what all these things they are doing shows that these guys are not ready to leave. They are not ready to leave. You know that this man said, Falano said that we should not be deceived. That the third term agenda is coming gradually. That it will definitely come. So with all this, their character, because if you know that you are going to live after three years, because they just have three years, or at maximum three and a half years, if you are going to live, you cannot just be leaving bad examples on ground, because definitely you are going to become an ordinary citizen. But now, what they are trying to do, they want to a continuation, but the strategy and manner to which they want to go about this, that is what we don't know. But definitely with this attitude, one will tend to believe that these people really have agenda. Nam De Kano has been has been shouting, has been speaking, has been singing over how many years. People did not listen to him. I'm, I think gradually all the things that he said now, uh, you know, are showing up, uh, 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 are coming before us. We are we are seeing them on a daily basis, and yet some people are adamant. Some people are saying nothing, nothing of such. Who are the elders in this country? Who are the people that can talk in this country? Nobody. Kudos to these uh, this, uh, civil society groups who have been coming from time to time. Who have been coming from time to time. Who are the people can, that can speak in this country? Because with what is happening, we don't even know where we are heading to. We don't know where we are heading to. Later now, Gaba Shehu said they are planning to meet with uh, the U.S. government early next year. By 2020, they are going to be meeting with them. And people are saying, why are you saying you want to meet with them? Because you said they are, they are, they are being misled because they don't know the facts. As if uh, they, they think that the way and manner at which they operate in Nigeria, that is why that is how other people operate. I don't know why these guys are just deceiving themselves. If you are working for the people, if you have the interest of the people at heart, you are going to do the bidding of the people. I don't I see no reason why you are going to people will be harassed. People are always scared to go on protest. Because once they go out for protest, this is what you get. This is exactly what you get once you go out for protests in Nigeria. It's a, you know, it is really, really risky. Those who are, who are still there, who are still going, that I think kudos to them. I hope they will not be tired one day. And I and I'm sure that is the that is you know how the government you know they want to get to a stage. They want it to get to that stage that people will not nobody will want to come out. Even the journalists will not will not, will not, will not want to come out. 
And we had, we had recently that the Un Nigerian Union of Journalists, they worked out on Lai Mohammed because they were they called the, the journalists on out on their inputs on social media. I'm sure what they were hearing from 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 Lime Wide wasn't what they were expected were expecting and they had to leave. And the next thing the presidency came out and said, Oh, because of a uh, that uh, you know there are those ones are looking for dollars from uh, from a uh, US. You can imagine statement from the people who were elected that they are so they're supposed to be in the position of honor. Can you hear what is coming out from their mouth? This is really ridiculous. Very soon we are going to be hearing the details of what really happened, you know, at that uh, uh, in the protest ground. We are going to be hearing what will be happening. We'll get you guys updated. <clears throat> Someone said, not seen anything yet. Collapse the quantity. Simple. Oh my goodness. This one say, collapse, collapse the quantity. That means collapse the country. Quantity. Simple. Hmm, Nigeria for sure. Here's row between the Yoruba and the Northerners. It's simple. That is police arrangements. It's, you know, people believe that it is people that the police that arrange those people to come and disrupt. People just went on a peaceful protest and see what happened. Even journalists are not safe in this country. Journalists are not safe. And when they come now, punch will say, This is Major General Buhari. The rest people, all of them are shouting up and down. That's a why would they use that statement? So, guys, I would like to hear from you with this a new development. They don't want people to protest. That is what. That is the stage we are getting into. Leave your comments below and let's learn from you. Thank you very much.